Oh, we are we are rocking out here. Yeah. Yeah, the Seahawks uh, went into Pittsburgh and came out with a win, and we are joined on this week's Hawk Zone by former Hawk Joe Tafoya. Hey, Joe. How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you again. Good to be here again. That was an impressive win in Pittsburgh. A road win against a team that's always tough. I, I have to be honest with you. I did not expect them to pull that out. Yeah, a lot of people didn't, and it was um, a tough win. They call it an ugly win, and I'm not really sure what an ugly win Win's is. Win's a win, right? A win is a win. Yeah. yeah. So congratulations on Pete Carroll's birthday, no less. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Happy birthday to Pete. It was yep. 69? 68, 68. I believe. Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry, Pete. 38. Going on 38. Right, exactly. Yeah, he, he <laughs> actually, he's a 38-year-old for sure. Yeah, and I, I actually, uh, it's interesting uh, because Russell Wilson, like he often does, he makes the plays when he needs to make them. Like he, he's not going to always look spectacular, but when he, need, he needs to make a play, his numbers were a 29 of 35 for 300 yards, three touchdown passes. He was good again. You know what I, feel, I find very interesting about Russell Wilson? He's one of the most well-put-together human beings. I mean, he took a shot. Yes, he did. And right there, was a, there was a moment where right he slid and his foot got caught in the turf right. and I thought, oh no, there's his knee. But he just gets right back up. Mm. What is he? he was sacked three or four times during the game and he just keeps getting up. And you know what? The consistency and the, the fact that we can rely on him mm -hmm. game after game, year after year, that's why they paid him the big money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. He, that hit he took on actually the pass interference That's call. right. I mean, he got nailed right in the head. Didn't, yeah. didn't even affect him at all. A lot of guys would have sat down and complained mm -hmm. about that one, but Russell Wilson popped right back up. Let's talk about uh, a guy who also took a few hits on, on the touchdown catches, uh, Will Disley, the former Husky, looking fantastic coming back from the injury. What a find. Year. Yeah, big Oh, time. man. I mean, he's a Washington Husky guy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always nice to have uh, what they call a security blanket right. for the quarterback. And I feel like they made a halftime adjustment when um, they were getting blitzed. Pittsburgh's notorious for blitzing, so they had to have a package put together for mm -hmm. it. But they, all of a sudden they started making these short passes, and yeah. Will Disley stepped up. And the more um, connection those two guys have right. together, the more he's going to shine. I think they got a real one in him. He's got great hands. Yeah. And also people will say, well, Ben Roethlisberger got hurt. He did so, get hurt. I mean, that certainly didn't hurt the Seahawks, but... That was a bad injury, too. Yeah. Uh, throwing elbow, uh, I think they're Almost calling like it a Tommy John. Or something. Yeah, no. Tommy John. Oh, That's yeah. tough for a, an older guy like that. But injuries happen, and uh, actually next week we're not going to face Drew right. Brees. We're going to face yeah. Teddy Bridgewater. Um, yeah, that's just the NFL. Yeah. That's it's, how it happens. We have a lot of injuries, goes. too. We're missing a lot of guys as well. Yeah, and you'll take it any way you can get it, right? That's right. If, if we'll take an ugly players win. Out, then, you know, <laughs> then they're best players out. That's right. Tyler Lockett was among the best players, if not the best player on the field yesterday. He had 10 catches. 10 catches. For 79 yards. He had one catch last week. That's right. <clears throat> and everybody's complaining, you know, Tyler Lockett. And he had a drop. He had a drop this week, too. But you know what? Um, he's really starting to catch his groove. And look, they're coming together as an offense. They're... Tyler Lockett is the number one wide receiver, and he's got another couple of weapons mm -hmm. alongside of him. DK Metcalf, Chris Carson, Rashad Penny showed up, Will Disley. So it's starting to get exciting. Yeah. Uh, when you see Pete Carroll being excited about uh, his guys in the locker room and the offense, then we get excited also. Yeah, he was fired up after the win for sure. Uh, you mentioned DK Metcalf. I thought the best part of the game was uh, DK Metcalf's uh, mouthpiece. Did I wonder what's that? going on. I think maybe that's a rookie hazing thing. <laughs> it's he's like only 21, right? so he's, he's considered a baby on the field. <laughs> I've never seen a mouthpiece that, that resembles a pacifier. Side note, I played football with his father. Oh, really? That's right, in Chicago. Terrence, Terrence Metcalf. Oh, Terrence. Yeah, he, he was an offensive oh, okay. guard. Oh, right. Chicago I was Bears. His, uh, his nephew is Eric Metcalf. That's right. Oh, okay. Or his, his cousin. Cousin. Him, whatever. He's related they to Eric Metcalf. They have a lot Metcalf. of athleticism yeah. in the family. I That's told right. his dad, dad was I said, an he must get yeah. his genetics from his mom. Well, I know, that, <laughs> I know that his dad has worked with him with weights since he was a little kid. Yeah. And well, Terrence is a big guy, big, strong guy. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, he's impressive. I wouldn't say anything in person if I saw him wearing a binky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just keep that to yourself. Yeah. He can do whatever he wants. All right. Uh, let's talk about the defense. Uh, of course, as they do, K.J. Wright and Bobby Wagner flying around making plays. It's so impressive. I feel like we might have the best trio of linebackers in the NFL with Michael Kendricks. Yeah, I mean, Kendricks don't forget about that guy. He's starting he to fill. somebody up yesterday. Yeah, that yeah. was a great hit. He's starting to fill in that position that Cam Chancellor used to play on the outside. Mm -hmm. But there was a point when uh, K.J. Wright grabbed somebody's hand yes. and tackled him. It was like a game of mercy where he just kind of <laughs> twisted him down to the ground. It's yeah. hard to run on this defense. I'd never seen a guy tackle a guy with a hand before. Yeah, yeah. any way you can pull him down. By their hair, by their... Yeah. <laughs> 
Not the horse collar. For sure. Though. Yeah, Don't you can't do, do that. So we talked earlier about uh, the pass interference challenge, which is a new rule this year. Right. When, when Russell got hit in the face later on in the play, uh, there was pass interference on Tyler Lockett, which peed through the red flag. So that's yeah. the new thing this year. You can challenge a pass interference call or non-call. In fact, it was a non-call, and right. Pete said that was P.I. What did and you think about that? I thought technically it was P.I., but I did not think they'd get the call. I didn't think they would get the call either yeah. because it's judgment-based. Right. And if you ask 10 people, you get 10 different answers right. on yeah. what they think. But it's got to be indisputable. In the moment, I felt like um, Pete Carroll made a great decision throwing that flag because, mm -hmm. you know, it's a little bit of a gamble, but you're either third and long or you have the, oppor and you have the opportunity to get uh, 30, it was like 30 a 38 eight yard yeah. swing. Yeah. So, yeah, challenge that. Yeah. Also, uh, that's the play when uh, Russell Wilson that's took right. a big shot. Right. So they should have called that. You're right. That's a good point. Maybe the life balances right. itself out that's of the That's a NFL good point. Sometime. They should have had a 15 yard penalty anyway. Right. And that guy, you know, should have had a targeting call for sure. Yeah. So uh, you mentioned Rashad Penny and Chris Carson. They combined for 122 yards of rushing. That's what you want from those guys. That's right. Yeah, we had a couple of fumbles. Um, but then at the end of the game, they went right back to Chris Carson. He went right behind Mike Upati. Congratulations yeah. to those guys. They made it happen. And, and that says a lot about how Pete Carroll and the staff feel about Chris Carson. Right. I, I thought he played a phenomenal game. You know, he was tough. There was one fumble where it was a scheme-related thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he got a hold on to the ball, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I do love the fact that they clinched that game with a two-yard run right. in the dirt. In so the that's dirt. how you do it. Yeah. That's football. All right, Joe, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations yourself. Yeah. Former Seahawks, of course. Oh, Joe Tafoya. Next week, the Hawks welcome the New Orleans Saints to Century Link.